Hey guys, this is a little behind the scenes look at the lonesome thing. The idea for this came about because I had a roommate who moved out and so I had an empty room in my apartment and I got thinking, I wonder if there's something that I can do in a completely empty space or a nearly empty space. And I came up with this idea where there's this character who's cleared out everything and is in this room so he can go in and just sit and have conversations with this ghost that lives in his closet. The other thing I was thinking about was the classic interpretation of a ghost. If you asked somebody to draw you a picture of a ghost, they'd probably draw a figure with a sheet draped over top of it. And so I kind of wanted to play with that and see if there was something unique that I could do with that to, to just put a new spin on something that we're all familiar with. And so I got thinking it would be neat to, to make it so that this character is actually the one that creates that image. Uh, he's the one that gives the ghost the ghost costume. So there's one visual effect shot in the film, and it's the reveal of the ghost. I wanted to see through the sheet so we could see something scary underneath, but you couldn't actually see through the sheet. It was too thick. So basically it's two plates. There's a plate of me with the sheet draped over top of me moving around and doing the movement for the ghost, and then there's another plate with the creature head where I'm mimicking that same movement to to then later composite it in post. It's actually the same head that I created for the Whisperer. There wasn't a lot of time on this one, so I didn't have time to go out and, and sculpt a new uh, different creature head. This was the first project in quite a while where I didn't act as my own cinematographer in addition to directing. This time I actually had a DP friend of mine named Brent Mata come in and shoot it for me. Brent had kind of a tough job because we're lighting a completely white room, which has a lot of bounce, but I think his lighting approach was similar to many of my other shorts in the past where our priority was very much based around practicals and motivating the light uh, based on what the space had to offer. So we figured this guy would have a lamp and we used that as the primary source of light and just based everything around that. I figured this was a good opportunity to talk about the subject of directing actors. I'm fortunate to have several friends who are actors who are very good at what they do and Brad is no exception. He's a good actor and he is willing to take little risks to try to to find new levels of the scene and he takes direction really well which is which is very important. And your job as a director changes from person to person. Sometimes you may be working with somebody who has no acting experience at all and in those cases you're going to have to be very hands-on probably. But I found over the years that the stuff that works the best usually usually is scenarios where I'm giving the actor some space to work and I'm not over directing. Back when I was in film school and I was a little younger, I uh, I kind of had the idea that I really had to earn my keep as a director. So I I fell into the trap of over directing and over explaining and giving too much information to my actors and. What I found is that can actually do more harm than good. You can get an actor too bogged down in information. And so what I found to be far more effective uh, is to give the general structure of the scene and, and the bullet points for who their character is and, and what they're doing in the scene and what their emotional space is and their headspace. Give them those building blocks and then let them interpret it. And so your actor is able to then go through the scene and find moments for themselves that are more natural for them as a performer than some of the stuff that you might be just giving to them. And if they, if they go off course and they, they aren't giving you exactly what you need, you can then go in and you can adjust that performance from there. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Go out and shoot some stuff and I'll see you next time.